All right, hello everyone. Here we are setting up for hole number two, expert division, revision. If you guys need more holes, do check out my other guide as I have uh, different uh, options here for you guys. I would say for the most part, um, you're going to want, you know, whatever more accurate for you between Apocalypse or Thor's Hammer and, you know, accuracy to top spin combination is probably the route that you'll want to go for instance if you had a thor 6 and a poc 4 you'd probably want to go thor 6 similarly with thor 5 you'd probably for a lot of these use thor 5 just because of the extra top spin that you have over the poc 4 for instance however i have a poc 6 it's going to have better accuracy than thor so that's going to be my basic go-to driver now what ends up happening on this one is especially with this wind, it creates kind of a, a very tight angle in between here. So staying between here is going to be very tough to do. So one of the things that you might want to do is just kind of gently back off your power um, and try not to get too risky with how aggressive you play this shot. So I'm going to try to back off just a little bit, try to work on some precision and make sure that I'm doing just a little bit less than necessary just to try to hold the fairway fairway is going to be essential here for really securing that uh, eagle so that's what you're going to see me do here um, very close to maybe straight top spin and you can see you know too much power is not going to be necessary so i'm not going to go full but i'm going to aim towards the left hand side here because of wind effect so there's five ish rings I'm going to go about six, six, six and something. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, you know, I'm going to try to back off a little bit. Just try to hone in on perfect ball. Um, because foremost, I just want to try to hold this fairway and try to play my wind effect. It looks like I'm just gently rolling into the rough. But that's just going to show you the complications. Um, I did pull it off with a puck four. I may just go ahead and just hit this rough shot for you guys, just so you guys can see it. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier for me than my opponent. Another thing that you can do is you can bring a power four ball. And if I do put it where I do, where I just did, you know, I'd be perfectly fine. Since I do have that sniper shot for you guys, um, I, I probably am just going to keep this guide the way it is. Um, normally I might pitch out and just be like, oh, well, you guys won't be here later this week. But just in case, you know, it does happen, I'm going to kind of work you guys through and try to get you dialed in here on this uh, rough shot since I do have, you know, a perfect jive, especially with an Apoc 4. But you can see, you know, it's going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough drive to pull off and very tight with that wind angle. So you will need to be rather exacting. And as you can see, it just cost me on this, uh, on this guide today. However, I don't think it's going to cost me an eagle. Um, especially if you have a Nirvana 8, for instance, definitely going to be plenty to kind of secure you. And you can see with what I'm going to need to do here, I'm just going to kind of aim up here towards here, maybe about half power and maybe just a little bit of curl. So I'm thinking somewhere around six rings here with some curl, half power, somewhere right around here. And as long as you're relatively close and don't get too aggressive, uh, you know, you should be able to get it up here and still give it a chance, as you can see. Um, still up by the hole, chance to potentially even make it if I hit if I hit and execute the perfect shot. So, you know, at the very least, don't do too much. Create that nice angle that you saw me do with my wind. You could see that I was kind of curling it back left. What that was allowing me to do is create a nice angle to kind of keep as much fairway as possible as opposed to first bounce being close to the rough, second bounce being close to the rough. I'm creating a better angle for the ball to get more room to come in when I set up and uh, do it angled like that. So do consider that for your shot as well. Uh, good luck with that hole, and I'll catch you guys on three.